this is Kelly from House of Virgo, getting ready here to do your love reading for the month of April 2022. This is a channel for Virgos and Virgos only, which means Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus, wherever your placements are. Welcome. Please do hit subscribe and like on the video uh, if you're new. Hello everyone in the chat. Virgo, please be mindful that these messages may or may not resonate with you, so take it with a grain of salt. All right, Virgo, um, let's get into your reading. Obviously, one card is already flipped out. You have wedding rings, okay? So we're looking at here possible marriage. <laughs> Somebody's coming in with this energy. Somebody wants to get engaged, be married, have a secret union, uh, long-term type of a commitment here, okay? So you could be getting married, you could be exchanging vows or rings with somebody, um, you could get a proposal or an offer in April. Uh, you could be going to a wedding, maybe attending a spring wedding, um, or you might be asked to go to one or ask somebody to go to a wedding with you is like a plus one. All right, let's see what else is going on here for you. Okay, you have the butterfly. Wow, transformation happening here in your life in the, any area in love, particularly blossoming, blooming. Let's take a look and see what else we have here. Okay, heartbroken. Well, that's lovely. So, some of you might be um, heartbroken about a relationship or a breakup or maybe something ended or you're just coming to terms with something in your life um, and healing from that and getting over that. Um, for some, you could be finding out that someone is, or that you're heartbroken over someone getting married, okay? Uh, or someone coming into a union with another person. Um, now they're just telling me, um, for some, this is not a lover, this could, or a past lover for, I'm hearing, um, a parent getting remarried, um, or like a sibling or someone close is marrying someone that perhaps maybe you are sad that they're doing this because they may have been with someone who just kept hurting them, breaking their heart and... Uh, it feels like um, a sense of care for another person about a decision that they're making. All right, let's get into this reading now and see what's going on here. One of the messages here for Virgo for April 2022. Okay, so you got the lovers here. So for some of you, I have to tell you, this is Gemini energy. For some of you, you're, you're in a state of heartbreak, okay, in regard to another person, and you've been trying to transition out of that, tran you know, move yourself away from that, but lo and behold, that heartbreaking situation, or that person who broke, you heart, broke your heart, it feels like it's coming in uh, to secure a love relationship with you, um, or a partnership. It's very beautiful. Um, for some, it might be something that you thought was over or that you thought ended and now it's coming back again or coming back around where it's going to be secured, okay? Um, I feel like, Virgo, somebody here is truly in love with you or has transitioned. Um, yeah, they're just saying another person um, is feeling the loss, is feeling some kind of a loss without you. And they're heartbroken over that and I feel like this person is coming in where it, they don't want to feel this way anymore and this person actually wants to propose or come into a deep partnership okay they don't want to be without you all right let's see what else is going on here wow double Gemini energy coming in with to manifest something here with you Bring this situation to, you know, have a new beginning to make something happen here. Let me see. Okay, wow, Queen of Wands again. I feel like she was in yesterday's reading and the, the day before that. So this Queen, Queen of Wands is fire energy as well. Um, hmm. Hold on a second. Okay. 
So um, for some of you, this could be a fire sign. Yeah. Um, you know, the lover sometimes um, gives me a sense of reconciliation because it is a six card, but it is a card about harmony. Um, hmm. Okay. So the person you could be connecting with could be a fire sign, but it feels as if you know, they're, if they're not, they're taking on this fire energy here. We're being bold, um, taking the lead, making like uh, bold steps, taking bold steps towards you in confidence and feeling very confident about what they want. Let me see here. Some of you could be meeting someone as you're going through a heartbroken situation as well. And this turns out to be the love of your life as you're healing <clears throat> transitioning out of a heartbroken uh situation somebody shows up here now um there is swords here for some of you this could be somebody who has been i guess i want to say incarcerated it doesn't have to be in the literal sense it could be um incarcerated in the mind or someone who it feels like whoever this person is that's coming in here, showing up here for you, is someone that struggles a lot with mental challenges, okay? Um, so it could be along the lines of like having um, maybe a mental illness or someone that has really can't, it seems like if it's reconciliation, just cannot move on without you. They've they're showing up here in April as even though they want to be with you and make that connection with you, their 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 mental state is like really trapped. They can't get away from, I feel like thoughts about the connection or the feeling of of feeling lost without you, feeling heartbroken. Um, they're struggling to get mental clarity. All they know, okay, their their mind is like no, their mind. Is telling them no don't move forward with this no don't do this or you know negative thinking that kind of thing um, but it it feels like their heart is speaking differently they're listening to their heart it feels like their their heart is telling them to connect to um, have a heart to heart to talk to you to um, to they're in love with you Virgo this person is just it's crazy they're just crazy in love with you like they see you as their other half you are their soul flame twin soul connection you know um let me see here um, and i feel like their heart they're this person coming in towards you their heart is making this decision not their head because their head has a lot of insecurity in their mental state you know, they, but they're they're listening to their heart is what I'm hearing. Oh, and I just heard that um, that very old song. Listen to your heart when he's calling to you. Um, who was that group? Yeah, I know it's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember. Um, I think she just recently passed away, maybe this past year or so. Um, listen to your heart. That's the song. That's the theme song. Um, all right, let me see what else is showing up here for you, Virgo, with this person. Oh, wow, yeah. Okay, Two of Wands energy. This is like making plans. This is making a decision um, about this partnership. Um, this is also like waiting for the right time to come forward. Uh, it feels like April is going to be... Uh, let's see. They want to. They're giving me sometime between April tenth, the week of April tenth. I feel this person um, making plans or travel plans. Are looking at a schedule, right? There is a world uh, globe here in this card, so there could be travel plans, or there's like a like you guys are at a distance, distant shores, or just you know you've been distant with each other. I feel like this person is making plans here to come in and connect with you this is a decision as i said that their heart is making let's get some clarity let's see what is this lovers Can you tell us more about the lovers here what is this energy oh my gosh four of pentacles long-term security 
This is what this person wants. That they don't want to let you go. They do. They refuse. I feel like this person. The only way it feels like this person is going to be able to have partnership or union with you is to listen to their heart and and act out of love. Okay. This person. I feel like they know they can't just hold on to you without doing something without making this love decision and making these plans and putting into action uh, the things that they want to do here with the magician. So the Four of Pentacles is really like not well, not wanting, not willing to let you go, you know, um, whoever they are in your life, whether it's somebody new or somebody old, it's an energy of like coming to terms with the fact that you are their love. And they love you and they're in love with you and you are their person you match them beautifully show me the magician what is the energy with the magician for Virgo what is the energy playing out here the magician okay Wow they're not taking no for an answer nine of wands they are manifesting and this person is per going to be very persistent about what it is that they want to have with you okay i feel like virgo in april you're going to know who this person is if you don't already and you're going to be able to see the persistence and the effort that this person puts in to fight for your connection okay and it's 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 it feels i'm feeling like uh, like a cool glass of lemonade <laughs> nice and refreshing it's going to feel very refreshing show me the Queen of Wands. What is this energy here with the Queen of Wands? Who is this Queen of Wands? Okay. Wow. Okay. For some of you, this person had somebody else in the past that they um, just might have been more of a fantasy. It's not someone I feel like they were ever intending to go all the way with or commit to. Um, I feel like the and also, uh, the other message you're giving me is that this person views you as the Queen of Wands as well, as very charming and courageous and bold and powerful in your own right. You could be on the cusp of Leo Virgo, um, and that they have been fantasizing or dreaming about you. They've been having dreams, or they see you in their dreams, or... Um, they may daydream about connecting with you um, and having all the spoils that love brings, <laughs> okay? And also, so yeah, there is a, a tad bit of fantasy here, in this, uh, in, but it's like good dreams, good thoughts about you, indulging. But I also feel like they, they sense that maybe, um, they get a sense that perhaps you're not, you're non-committal with them okay yeah so four of wands here this person you know these two cards are very contrasting and, and the four of wands and the seven of cups is like you know the seven of cups is is dreaming it's fantasies it's um um kind of like sugar plums <laughs> you know um these not they're like fantasies but the four of wands is foundation and structure so I kind of get a sense that this person when they think of you or they dream about you they dream about being in union happily ever after kind of situation um, it's like you're home to them is how I feel they feel about you and I feel like this person will understand that you might be on the fence um, about them as far as like you're not you, you know like not sure if you want to commit but yet at the same time maybe sometimes you do sometimes you don't okay I feel like they might pick up an energy that maybe you mirrored them and now they're kind of not sure where you stand right now and hmm it's interesting or they won't be sure where you stand as far as they're concerned if they were to come in or not come in it, it's kind of like they're taking their they're taking their shot here they're gonna take a risk and um 
go for it. That's what I feel like. This person's going to take a risk and go for it here. Even though they might have some insecurity about that or feel kind of like unsure. Um, they're making the plans though. They're going to make the plans. This could be long distance travel or just come to where you are. Um, reach out to try to talk to you. Have some communication um, about meeting for dinner or drinks or coffee or to go out on a first date or connect in some way. Um, show me this eight of swords here. What is this energy with this eight of swords? Okay, with the king of cups. So you could be connecting with water element, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Um, it doesn't have to be, but this person they have emotional insecurity is how I feel. Um, they, this person, you know, they don't really, they're not real good at, I feel like when they reveal their feelings, they reveal good stuff, but their insecurities, they hide. Okay. Um, so if you were to ask them about like certain things, deep, certain, like, how do you feel like the real emotional stuff? You know, they feel things very, very deeply, but I feel like their insecurities, they try not to reveal that too much. Like they keep that really buried deep within um, only because I feel like that's a struggle for this person. Um, vulnerability, maybe in some way of expressing that, you know, some days they just feel hopeless or some days they, they feel um, kind of scattered or, you know, their emotions, they try to keep things positive. If they can't say anything positive, then they really just don't reveal anything too much. Um, there's this desire to keep it all together. Um, if they were to let their emotions out too, too much, or they're, it's more like if they're to let their emotion, their negative emotions out, they don't want to affect the relationship by seeming like someone who is um, struggling, okay? They don't want to, they don't want to be seen that way. Um, so there's a bit of trying to keep it together. They like to try to keep it together. Okay. Show me, I need another card on that here because Queen of Wands has two cards. Okay. Queen of Swords. Yeah. So when they communicate with you and they take on the Queen of Swords energy where I do feel like they try to be direct and honest with you and will be try to try to be direct and honest with you. The Queen of Swords is uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So they, they tend to be more cerebral, okay, than emotional. As far as like revealing their uh, emotional insecurities, they would rather talk about all the basics and things like that. Um, they definitely come forward as truthful and honest. And it seems like will be showing up more direct with you. Okay, what is this directness though? What are they going to say to Virgo? Oh, <gasps> the Empress, okay? That you are the, the queen of queens, king of kings. They view you as someone they could have a child with. They view you as like a goddess or a, <laughs> an Adonis, you know? Um, I feel like mostly as far as an energy this person will communicate to you that you are everything um, that they've ever looked for or uh, everything that they've ever hoped for um, and if there's an energy here of wanting to create a new beginning with you in some beautiful beautiful way like i feel like this person looks at you as you know not only as bold and um what stands out the most about you i feel is the fire energy aspect of you because you know virgo even though you're a virgo and you may not have any fire placements in your chart we all embody the um each element at, at different times believe it or not and so i feel like this person even if you don't view yourself as a queen of wands or you know someone in a fire energy this person does they they view you as quite charming and maybe even popular to some degree okay but the thing is i feel like they're going to communicate mostly to you that you are an empress to them okay very beautiful very feminine they love that about you um, even if you're masculine um, that softer side of you that they love or they find very endearing um, 
that you are, I mean, the Empress is the queen of all queens, you know, the Empress, um, and that's Libra and energy there. The Empress is someone who, you know, she sits at the throne there. She sits at the very top. I mean, the Empress tells the queens how to live. She's an example for all of the queens. You know, she, the Empress embodies all of the signs, basically, because she embodies all of the queens. Okay. So let me see here. What's going on with this travel plans and, um, you know, w waiting for the right time or, or waiting to hear back about some plans here. What's coming on? What's coming on? What's going on? Oh my goodness. Knight of Cups. This is such a beautiful reading. I can't with this. So yeah, this person's waiting for the right time to make that love offer to propose. I'm telling you, there's some type of sacred union that's happening here. Okay. While you're sitting there with your heart broken, you're still licking your wounds, maybe from a past relationship. This could be your past person returning. This could also be somebody new. So you'll have to wait and see how that plays out. Of course because it's predictive for going forward in the rest of april okay but you are definitely transitioning here you are transforming into this glorious beautiful butterfly and it's it's freeing it feels like you're freeing yourself um your heartbreak it, your loss you're healing from that you're becoming stronger definitely in a better place um you will be in april than you've been and it, you know, it's all the work I feel like we've been doing. And, you know, the butterfly, the butterflies are coming back here in the spring, you know, up in the Northern Hemisphere and um, the flowers are beginning to bloom and, and things are beginning to look brighter. Let's take a look though at your energy. What, what more is going on here with you, Virgo? Look at you, you've got the Ace of Wands. You're ready to create, those flowers are blooming. And you are in a position of like manifesting new beginnings in your life here. You have so much potential and all this growth, all this growth. That's what I was saying. You have all this growth that's becoming a parrot as well. Like it, it's visible now as you heal. It, it's coming to be more visible. Okay. Um, in the month of April, there's a new start. Let me see what else is going on here. Okay. So look at you. You're excited. You have so much enthusiasm coming to you in April. Such a beginning is happening here. Look at this. I love it. This page of wands energy is, that's the excitement coming back into your life. And I feel like this, this is beginning to happen. Look at the butterfly. I feel like the, the excitement getting ready to go. This is like fire, you know, um, your plans, your ideas, the things you want to do, what you're thinking about in your life, all these things begin to manifest and action. You start taking action in your mind, your mind. So it's all your mindset, you know, when, you know, your feet follow when your mind starts going and your feet start following, then things start happening. Let's take a look and see. I love it. Okay. You, you have hit rock bottom. And you're hitting rock bottom in April. You're just, you know, there's no way, there's nowhere else to go but up from this point on. Okay. You have been to the bottom. Okay. With deceit. You've been to the bottom with betrayal. You've had lies. You've had enough. And there's nowhere else to go but up. And you're on your way. I see you having this opportunity. I see you getting a break here in your life in all areas. And things are just going to, uh, what is it? Wait. I, they just gave me that old song. I'm not singing that. I'm, I just heard that old song. I wear my sunglasses at night. <laughs> I don't know why that came to me. Okay. Look at you. You're fighting. Oh, you're in fight mode. You're like, I am defending this realm. I'm defending my castle. You know, I'm standing my ground. I f you have a lot of wand energy. So it's a lot of enthusiasm, physical enthusiasm. Okay. You're starting to talk again, is what I feel is going on here. Um, I don't know if it's talking to this person again, or you're just starting to communicate more, or talk more with people. You're really getting yourself out there, your ideas and your plans and the things that you want in your life, which is amazing. Okay, you've got the hermit here. So you, you've done a lot of, you will be doing a lot of introspection, a lot of thinking, 
seeking clarity, which is very beautiful. Okay, about what type of person you want to be with, right? So if you're single and you're looking, or if you've got somebody coming back into your life, you're, you're needing them to come back in the emperor energy to match your empress energy, okay? And you can reverse that. It's really just energy, okay? This person sees you as an empress, and you see this person as the emperor, or you will be, okay? And that's really just you spending time going in, reflecting, asking yourself what you're looking for. The emperor is very much someone who is in a leadership position. The emperor is someone who is dependable and someone you can count on and someone you can trust. And I feel like you're in that place where like, that's what you're seeking. That's what you're looking for in your life. And you've done much reflection about this. And for some of you, you know, if this person is coming back from the past in a new energy because they're following their heart ready to follow through, you're kind of like, okay, you're standing still here. You're like, hold on, I'm in the bathroom. I'll call you later. I need to think about this. You know, um, is this person really going to come through to match my energy? And that's what you're really considering. Now, let me get some clarifying cards here. What is this deceit and betrayal? Okay, some truth came out. You had some clarity. Yeah, this is a light bulb aha moment. Okay, this is in your thoughts, right? Very cerebral. You know, um, I feel like you've come to terms with something um, in your past, and you've also, like, it's starting over again, you know? The Ten of Swords to the Ace of Swords. It's kind of like, you know, all, I've had enough swords. You know, now it's time for me to put the sword in. Now it's time for me to stand up and get clear and get clarity on what I'm seeking in my life. Okay, so it's very beautiful energy. And I feel like you're very, you're crystal clear about someone from the past. And I see you kind of like, you know, I've done a lot of thinking here about, you know, you saying to yourself, I've done a lot of thinking about this person and I need to know, you know, um, are they going to stand up for me? Are they going to stand their ground? I feel like this person is, is, I don't know if this person comes in as much of a fighter as you, but um, they do have the nine of wands, so they are going to be very persistent and they are going to stand their ground as well about uh, fighting for you. So I feel like you're kind of getting what it is that you are hoping to have whether it's a past person or somebody new let me see this yep see with the hermit seven of pentacles a lot of hesitating a lot of waiting i see you doing to just try to like make a decision or get clarity about you know do you accept someone from the past back or and the offer that comes in this new beginning um, with somebody or um you know somebody new or somebody old um you know really I feel like you've done a lot of work you've done a lot of work and a lot of reflecting here let me see oops show me this emperor okay yeah you're looking for some this person has to give back they have to have they have to ha there has to be equal exchange here they have to be willing to give reciprocity has to happen or else the, the, it's a no-go okay that's what you're, and I, I feel like a lot of you are hoping that this person that comes into your life in April um, or comes back into your life in April is someone who's going to actually start giving to the children or start paying that child support along with being that stand-up person you need them to be or uh, is just in a position of, of, of giving back, you know, not just receiving all the time, but... Um, being reciprocal in that energy and i see this is definitely something that you are seeking now it's not so much about how you feel it's mostly about can this partnership work can it work you know i feel like virgo this person is crazy in love with you and wants very much to be with you and they're coming from the heart now not the head i feel like the head was the head this person's head um was more in the energy of the eight of swords where that's a card of self-sabotage and this person sabotaged and i feel like part of the part of the communication they're going to have with you is that they did do that okay even though they see you as this empress as just so amazing to them 
they sabotaged. There was a lot of insecurity connected to this person, okay, in regard to the relationship. It was more in regard to themselves, N not anything I feel like you could have done. I feel like, you know, this person may tell you that they sabotaged their past relationship because they were very insecure, or the person they were with caused a lot of insecurity in the connection and made them feel unsafe, right? So if it's somebody new, there's definitely an energy there, and they've come to terms, they've done their healing, and they want to come in and, and, you know, they admire you and give that love and that affection to you and make that offer. All right, romance angels. What are the messages here? Okay, calling in your soulmate. So you're going to be getting a phone call from somebody here. This is definitely, um, you know, um, I feel like I don't I don't know that you've been manifesting a particular person, but you've definitely been trying to manifest love in your life. And I feel like all these visions and things that you've been trying to manifest are coming forward. OK, um, I can't give you absolute clarity that it's a person from your past or it's somebody new, but I know that it is going to be something coming in here in April. Let me see what else is going on. So I would say, yeah, you're definitely going to be getting a phone call. OK, romantic feelings. Wow. Yeah, somebody's got very, very lovely romantic feelings for you. Definitely. They want to kiss you. They want to hug you. They want to cuddle. They want to spend time with you. Wow. This is this reading is like so different. It's such a contrast from yesterday. That's why I say take it with a grain of salt. You know, all the readings. Let me see what else is going on here. Okay, engagement. Oh my goodness. Somebody's coming in to propose. I am not even kidding. Or, um, to talk about you know marriage or, or being together okay um hell some of you might if you're a male you might have a female proposing and for others to talk about you know being together okay your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment with somebody in april which um, is beautiful energy it's very very nice all right let me see how does this person feel about you what are their love messages for you here for Virgo I just realized I didn't have my music on oh my goodness all right what are the love messages hidden truth and love messages for Virgo what do you want to tell Virgo spirit what does Virgo wish to know okay hidden truth I can't stop thinking about you uh, so what I was saying, you've been, this person's been dreaming or having daydreams or waking up and realizing they've had dreams about you or you keep showing up in their dreams or just as they go through their day to day, you're all that is on their mind. They just can't stop. Oh, it's crazy. Okay. So interference, an external party is intruding on this relationship. Okay. Some of you, um, you might have this energy playing out as well. Remember, there may there might have been um, one or two others where this person um, I guess and for some for uh, for some this person that you connect with in April they did have somebody that um, I feel like there might have been a possible marriage or commitment or something like that happening but I feel like it, it's not playing out for some reason um, either by their choice or the other person's choice, okay? Now, that energy could still be dissipating, but I feel like to this person, um, they've already made up their mind that, they, that you're the one that they want to be with. You're the love of their life. So I feel like that's just a matter of time for that energy, that uh, other energy to be gone. Okay, let me see here. Another message of love, obsession. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. So I kind of feel like that energy plays out here. It could be you. It could be the other person. Like I said, can't stop thinking about you. Obsessive thoughts. Like you're just all that this person thinks about. You know, they, I feel like the only break they really get is when they're at work. But even still, you infiltrate your, their thoughts when they're working. You infiltrate their thoughts when um, they're sleeping. <laughs> My goodness. It, but it doesn't feel like crazy stalker obsessive. It's just like, 
it just kind of feels like the absence when you're not together or when there was a breakup it's like they just could not get you off of their mind here um, absence is making the heart grow fonder for sure okay let me see okay the hidden truth i feel you leaving me behind that's what i was saying the absence is actually causing this person to awaken to love to the connection to the partnership okay um if you haven't met this person um, I don't feel like this applies here if this is somebody new, but for the past person, uh, they're definitely feeling that void of you not being in their life in one way or the other. Even if it was they that caused or initiated a breakup, um, you may have just accepted it and said, okay, I guess I got to move on. And you've done just that and you've been healing, you know, but now I feel like this person's having second thoughts, you know, um, they realize they made a mistake it was their head and their fear and their self-sabotaging that caused them to not move forward and now for some reason this person their heart is telling them it's that song listen to your heart when she's calling for you listen to your heart there's nothing else you can do i don't know where you're going and i don't know why listen to your heart before you tell her goodbye okay enough of my singing okay unavailable this person is unable to give you all you deserve so i kind of feel like that's the energy that this person had in the past that you know if it's a past person they were unavailable so it feels like mostly we're talking about a past person they just could not give um unable which means they were not capable for some reason and i feel like you know as i said if there was some kind of mental distress or um some fears or something along those lines um it wasn't your fault it feels like they want you to know that they just did not have the capability to give you what you needed in the past but you know love is the most healing thing in the world it, it love that's it just love love can heal so many things and, and, you know, when someone, fear and love cannot coexist. I feel like this person's putting their fears away and letting love rule. My life is not as together as it seems. So some of you might be, you know, connecting with, with this person and, and, you know, they, they might have been putting on a front or they could be putting on a front for you. Like, oh, everything's great. I'm happy. But I, I feel like, again, as I said here before, they hide their emotional insecurities they don't, I don't know if there's pride, there's fear for sure. I don't feel like this person really ever wanted you or really ever wanted anyone to know how deeply hurt or fearful or the mental struggle that they have. But I feel like, you know, even people who have mental struggles, their hearts are intact. And when listening to the heart, you know, it's just they were giving me that, um, image of a, a it's a movie with johnny depp and i can't remember the girl in the movie but it was called benny and june and i don't know if you ever saw it but um june had very um i don't know if she was autistic or she had um she had something and benny was just odd he was a little different okay but they met and they fell in love and it was their love that made them find each other that healed everything between them and you know um june had a brother who did not want her to be in a relationship because she had a lot of mental struggles and things like that and he was very overprotective but you know benny was just like you know he played johnny depp he was he was very odd and very different it's such a beautiful love story um and it, it's a little dark but he was odd and he was different but he made her laugh and and, and it was the love between them that prevailed. Okay, I, I, I encourage you to watch that movie if you've never seen it. It's one of my all-time favorites. Um, and it's pretty, I think it's from, I don't know if it's the late 80s, early 90s, but it's, it's such a beautiful, one of his better movies, I think. Okay, let me see what's going on here. I am so attracted to you. So that element is there and it will be there in April. This person just finds you deeply, deeply alluring. Um, and, and quite attracted to you in many, many ways, not just the aesthetic and the physical, but 
um, like who you are, showing up as that Empress energy, just, you know, shining, just very shiny, um, glittery, <laughs> I don't know, something about you, um, like some type of magnetism that you hold for this person, um, well, that they're pulled to, okay, just being near you is intoxicating, okay, so that energy is going to be felt for sure in April, if there's um, a coming together, it's definitely going to be like a shark biting into a piece of meat and the eyes rolling back, you know, <laughs> I feel like this is, I'm just hearing drunk on love, drunk on the love, okay, one more, I regret lying to you. Okay, so if any of that, so like I said, you have the Ten of Swords here. There might have been a lot of lies. Uh, maybe this is you saying this to somebody. Um, if it's a past person or if it's somebody new and you're not sure um, and you don't want to share like that you have a heartbreak, you might try to cover it up or, any, or something like that. But then you might feel like, oh, yeah, I, I have a little bit of regret of not being transparent, but you have a right to not be transparent with somebody you first meet in the sense of like revealing your deepest feelings or your pains and hurts. You don't, you don't have to. You can do that when you feel safe to do that. All right, let's get into, let's see, what else do we have here? What else is going on for you, Virgo? This reading is just, wow, it's really beautiful, Virgo. You're getting some kind of proposal or offer, um, a love proposal or love offer of some sort from somebody here who's just, um, you know, either in absence, their love is growing bigger for you, the fire is, is, is growing for you, um, or just when they meet you, it's like <clears throat> they realize why something in the past with somebody else never worked out, okay, as in somebody new. It's just a very... A very strong falling in love kind of energy. It's beautiful. Harmony. It's coming into harmony with somebody. Okay, let me see. What are your other messages? I'm gonna, probably, I'm going to see if I can put some music to the background of this video, but um, we might have to just be quiet and dry. Let me see. What other messages here are for Virgo? Okay, straight away they're giving me Vegas. Okay, Vegas. Straight away I just got Vegas or poker, playing the slots or some kind of like games or something or just the city of Vegas. Um, or somebody plays poker or they bet. They do betting. Let me see. <laughs> okay, well, somebody is going to be like a pastor or something comes through is like you know I don't know they stand are they stand at a podium or somebody standing at a podium yeah you know giving a speech or a conference of some sort or preaching doing some preaching or you know um, or they're on the stage performing magic tricks or they're in performance of some sort or you are okay let me see maybe they're at a church okay Hmm. Somebody might, maybe it's, uh, okay, I'm picking up someone lives on a boat here or on by the beach, by the water, very, very close, like probably 50 yards from the beach, okay? Or they, they work on a, on a ship or a boat or in the, you know, you got, you got, are they coming in or somebody's coming in by boat, I'm just hearing, or there's, something there's something to do with a boat okay i will say that something to do with a boat or a ship or a yacht maybe it's in um you know naval military or something as well let me see what else am i getting here okay hmm okay um i'm seeing um, a child with a boo-boo okay i'm seeing a child with a boo-boo um, or getting something fixed, maybe getting some blood work, or somebody's getting some blood work done. Um, uh, I, I'm also hearing like a butterfly. Um, hmm. Getting a butterfly line, you know, like getting blood drawn through the top of the wrist with like a butterfly. I'm seeing. Um, I forget what that's called. Like drawing, but drawing blood through a butterfly, or, or 
I'm getting um, an IV or something up here. I, do they do that? I guess they do that. I should know. I went to school for that years ago. I can't remember. <laughs> Maybe you work as a phlebotomist or you're, or you're going to be seeing one or seeing a nurse or you work as a nurse or maybe a physician. Let me see here. Okay. Somebody has a bearded dragon. Somebody has a bearded dragon and um, a lemon tree or it's just um, maybe pl or somebody's planting a tree or planting trees or planted a tree with somebody that's significant for something or there's a favorite tree or somebody works in um, you know with plants as well okay, let me see and then, then they're just giving me um oh beautiful fireflies picking up fireflies too at night something to do with fireflies collecting them maybe oh. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So they just gave me an image, which is so strange. And this is so, so late 90s, early 2000s. But I just saw an image of that old kids show, Teletubbies. But I'm, what I'm really seeing... You know, I'm seeing the rainbow of the primary colors as well, but I'm also seeing um, a spaceship, <laughs> but I'm also seeing um, a vast amount of very beautiful green uh, hit rolling hills, okay? Kind of, I guess, kind of like what it looked like in the, I don't know if you guys remember Teletubbies. Uh, my kids used to watch that. Um, well, actually, I used to watch it. I used to put it on and they were like, okay, this sucks. <laughs> I had all boys, so... They wanted to go smash their car somewhere. But um, I'm just picking up that very green rolling hills from that and very beautiful bright blue sky. Okay. Um, now I'm also picking up somebody's wearing a red dress or some red clothing or is picking out a red dress. There's something to do with like a red dress or a red coat or red clothing. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Um, somebody's got a walkway to their door or they're walking along a path and there's all flowers all along the sides lining the path. Okay. Flowers lining the path. Um, azaleas, perhaps. Okay. Night out dancing. I'm, I'm picking up a night out dancing or... Some friends going dancing, like on the dance floor, picking on the dance floor, doing a particular dance. So you know how, you, like you go to a wedding or you go uh, to like a like I don't know a club or a place, and and everybody has like they get on the dance floor and it's like a group dance and everyone does this particular dance and mm -hmm. I, I you know I don't know if there's what the dances are today really, but it's uh, oh um what is that thing that people would do everybody would just stop and dance right in the middle of like a train station or maybe there's a video of that somebody's watching or or a bunch of people get together on the dance floor and all do like the same type of dance together maybe at a wedding or some event <laughs> okay um you know it could be an exercise class as well it's 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 kind of coordinated in some way or like the, like the choreography is like it's you go there and you do this and then it's all everybody does the same exact thing okay and one more hmm. okay so I'm hearing something to do with taxes you know, maybe you're doing your taxes right now or um, I'm also picking somebody is um, yeah either gonna be in a courthouse whether as um, maybe studying to be uh, a lawyer or working in the legal field um, or um, going to court to pay some kind of ticket. There's, there's something I'm seeing like a judge. There's something to do with like a judge I'm seeing in a courthouse. And I'm seeing, you know, like a legal team or something along those lines. Okay. 
um, or maybe you're listening to this, you're working as a, as part of a legal team or um, in an office of some sort, like an office of justice, or someone is, um, there might be like a, a position or someone, I'm, I'm feeling like police as well, somebody working in, or doing something with police. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's get your, do you like my new shiny bling bling bag? This is my, um, this is where I'm keeping all my good stuff now. Let's see what else is going on here for you. There we go. If I can get this open. Okay. So we're going to take a look at signs. And you know what? I know you guys can't see me, but I tend to wear reading glasses um, because I'm getting older <laughs> and my vision isn't as great as I would like it to be. So I'm going to do my very best to try to see the, the dice because I don't have my glasses on. Um, okay. So we have Virgo, we have Libra, we have the Sun. Um, we have Leo, okay, and we have, let's, this one, I'm going to take the out there, okay, just because they're the planets, and I have yet to sit and um, remember all the planets, the symbols. All right, here are some dates for you guys. We have Virgo twice, actually, okay, so we have... 2, 5, 8, and 12. So your birthday could be the 2nd, the 5th. Oh, I'm also getting the 6th, the 8th, and the 12th. Okay. All right, let's see what else. <clears throat> Roll the dice. Alrighty, um, Capricorn, Aquarius, Aries, Virgo again. Okay, two, here we go again. Six, nine, 12, and the first. Okay, so that could be your birth date or it could be the birth date of your person. I almost forgot that I have to pull your tiny signs. We have Cancer and Aquarius and Pisces and Leo and we have the 7th, the 8th, the 11th and the 12th. Okay. All right. Let's see what the Chinese signs are. These could be your Chinese signs or it could be your person or this other person. Okay. Let's see. Chinese signs. Please show Virgo who their person is based on the Chinese sign. Okay, rooster, ox, the goat, the horse, the snake, or the pig. Okay, so it could be you and it could be your person. If you know your person's sign or somebody new, you may not know what their Chinese sign is. You could always ask them what year they were born and figure it out. Um, but it could be one of these. Okay. So Virgo, that's going to be your reading. You know, Virgo, that was a refreshing, refreshing reading. And I really hope that um, you are healing from whatever kind of heartbreak. And for some of you, I do hope that there's an opportunity to heal a past relationship and that it really improves. And if not for others, I do hope and pray that somebody wonderful and beautiful is coming in available and willing, motivated and able to create a beautiful love story with you going forward in the month of April. So all the best, love and light, and I will see you very soon. Take care.